1348, in the town of Alborea Almacera, a Eucharistic miracle occurred, which seems to recall episodes in the life of St. Francis that demonstrates how, if men were fully alive in the grace of God, all God's creatures would live in harmony. A priest carrying a pyx, or perhaps a ciborium, containing the sacred Eucharist destined for three sick people, had just set out on his journey. He was crossing a river on muleback when he was suddenly swept off his mount by a rushing wave or slippery rocks. The priest tumbled into the water along with his pyx, which was emptied of its precious contents. The hosts fell out and were being carried away by the current down towards the mouth of the river. The priest, barely saving himself, full of remorse, and lamenting what had occurred as he tried to free himself from the mud and the waters, was approached by three fishermen who were stunned to have witnessed, in the place where the river water flowed into the sea, three fish, each with a little white disc in its mouth, resembling communion host. The priest immediately ran to the church and returned to the river bank with another pix. He did everything in such a hurry that he didn't even stop to ask himself if the fisherman's story was even believable. Great was his joy when he saw that the three prodigious fish were there, almost completely out of the water, lifting the hosts intact with their mouths like little trophies. He fell to his knees and, extending his picks, prayed as he had never done before, and he saw the fish deposit the hosts into the picks, one after the other, and then dive and slither rapidly back into the water to disappear into the sea. Only at that moment did the priest notice that he was surrounded by a group of men and women who had witnessed the entire scene. The three hosts were brought back to the church in a solemn procession in which the whole village participated. Today it is still possible to consult numerous documents testifying to the miracle. There even exists a small church with two fish sculpted on the door, built at the site of the miracle, and two paintings reproducing the entire event.